Hello and welcome to the RTS Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode, we will create new function. Let's get started. First of all, go to the RTS Core BP folder and open E function enumeration. Here you can see example humans and horde functions and also neutral function. Trees and gold mines have their function variable set to neutral. Let's add new enum member. I'll add new else function. Now go to the RTS characters slash blueprints and open base player character blueprint. Here you can find even called setup relationships multicast. Also in the variables under the combat category you can find the relationships map where every faction has player's relationship type like friend or enemy. Let's add a new member to the relationships map. We will use simple logic. Elves is a friend if player's faction is elves an enemy if player faction is something different. After that, let's open RTS player controller blueprint and add some nodes to be able to change faction for test purposes. Also, let's open our map and add elf's unit. I'll just copy this warrior and change its faction. Now we can test it. As you can see, our new unit is enemy for either Horde and Humans. Now I wanna show you how to create unique unit for our new faction. Note that the example worker unit is faction unique, so we have here Human worker and Horde worker. Let's create new child of the base RTS unit and call it Elf worker. Here you should specify mesh, I'll use warriors one, a name class, faction, and unit ID. Also, you should override two functions, get attack anim montage settings and get death anim montage settings. And also three more worker unique functions, get build animation settings, get chop tree animation settings and get mine animation settings. Now we can fill necessary data tables. The first one is actors abilities data table in ability subsystem slash data folder. Let's add a new row with elf worker id and add cell ability. I will not add attack ability because it is horde unique feature and neither human nor elf worker can attack. The next data table is combat subsystem slash data slash actors combat info data table. Here you can specify damage and weapon type, as you already know. The next one is selectable actors info data table. It is located in a selection subsystem slash data folder. You can set here icon and name. And the last one is stats subsystem slash data slash actor stats data table. Add a new row and fill it with L worker stats. I can copy human worker stats and change them. For instance, I can increase L worker's health. Also, I can make him faster but decrease his armor. And finally, let's add L worker to the level. As you can see, Elf Worker can move quite fast and he can't attack enemy cause he hasn't attack ability. Now I wanna add an ability to create a townhouse. Townhouse is a faction unit building, so firstly we should create Elven Townhouse. Let's create building mesh then. Go to the building subsystem slash blueprints folder and create a new child of the building mesh blueprint. Add some meshes to the meshes scene root. Also note that the townhouse has two upgrades, level 1 upgrade and level 2 upgrade. So I'll add two scene roots and add some extra meshes for the upgrades and make them hidden in game. Let's overwrite on end upgrade process event and make these extra meshes visible in game again. Also, we should set up building blueprint collision. And don't forget to add landscape tracing spheres. Now go to the building subsystem slash blueprints slash buildings slash global and open townhouse blueprint. I can set mesh actor class to Elven townhouse mesh and we can see that the mesh doesn't fit properly. So I want to move it a little bit.
perfect. Now we should open class default tab, add a new member to the mesh actors map and specify mesh class for the new function. Also we should set the mesh for the build ability. So go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash build abilities, open build townhouse blueprint and add a new member to the building mesh classes and building classes arrays. Finally, let's open Actors Abilities data table and add two abilities to the Elf Worker, Repair Building and Build Townhouse. Let's test it. We can build a townhouse and it has Elven Mesh. We can also successfully upgrade it, but if we try to recruit a worker, we will see that it isn't Elf Worker. To fix it, we should go to the Ability Subsystem slash Blueprints slash building processes slash recruiting folder, open recruit worker ability, add new member to the recruiting class map and specify that we want to recruit an elf worker if the player's function is elves. Also do the same with the recruit warrior ability. Now it all works fine. In the next episode, we will work with the resources and log subsystems. See you next time.